All right, here we go. A Fox News alert. Get this. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein expected to leave his role at the DOJ in the coming weeks. Rosenstein has overseen the Mueller probe, in fact, appoint, appointed pro, uh, Mueller in that probe for the last two years. So could this mean big changes for the special counsel? Here to weigh in is the constitutional law professor himself, Fox News contributor Jonathan <laughs> Turley. Jonathan, is this a big uh, surprise? I'm not that surprised. I think that uh, he wanted to make sure that the report was completed. And he's going to be leaving around the time that many of us expect at least part of the report, if not the entire report, to be given to the Justice Department. Yeah, I was very critical of his appointment of Mueller specifically, not his appointment of a special counsel, and also his failure to recuse himself. But you also have to give him credit. He's been a steady hand at justice in very difficult times. And I think that he wanted to stick around to guarantee that this report crossed the finish line, and I think that's going to happen. Yeah, we thought he was going to step down maybe when Jeff Sessions did, and then Whitaker was appointed as the acting, and we thought maybe he would step down then, and he did, and he stayed on. So are you saying that you think the report is complete? You think it's finished? I, I think the report is largely complete. Uh, many of us expected the report to come out sometime at the end of the year, beginning of the new year. Uh, there is some time that will be needed by Congress. Uh, they're losing runway. If they want to take yeah. off from this report, um, time is of the essence uh, for Congress. They've got a two-year clock running. Right. And you, you know, Jonathan, over the last year or two, you've, you've been on the channel a lot talking about the different things. We need answers to this and this and this. And Mr. Mueller is not necessarily looking into everything. The hope is, and you have suggested in the past, that the Inspector General, Mr. Horowitz at the Department of Justice, is going to uncover a lot of the stuff that we've always wanted the answers to. With uh, Democrats in charge of the House now, do you think that's still going to happen? I think it will. There's a lot of live torpedoes in the water, uh, and I think everyone is uneasy in Washington on both sides of the aisle because there's investigations as well that touch on Democrats and the Clintons. Uh, there's obviously this report, and I think that uh, Rudy Giuliani is right. This report is going to be a real cardiac arrest for the uh, for the Trump administration. I think they're preparing for that. So 2019, there's going to be a great deal of broken China uh, in Washington, and people are not sure how this is going to play out. I would just love to break it in the winter uh, so we can get this over with and find out where the cards are, because it does a lot of damage to the country on all sides uh, by having all these rumors come out. Now, a quick thing. What is going on? Yesterday, we understand about this top secret meeting about this government and this agency and this business. Uh, they're going to the Mueller investigation. I guess, one, the Supreme Court will not step in and allow them to move forward. What do we know about the, and what don't we know about this mysterious company, international company, and how it affects the Mueller probe? We know surprisingly little. We know that the company is owned uh, or has st strong connections to a foreign government. Uh, but beyond that, we're not entirely sure. It eliminates some suspects like Deutsche Bank, which is not uh, government controlled. But clearly, Mueller had assembled a team looking at financial crimes, and he's clearly proceeding along those lines. All right, Jonathan Turley, always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Thank you. Jonathan.